Hey guys, it's Ari. Welcome to the channel and today we're going to be discussing how to connect your Apple 24 inch cinema display to your Windows desktop. Now this is more of a video about breathing life into older hardware and if you have an old cinema display laying around it gives it a new purpose. You also may just be a fan of old vintage Apple displays and that's cool too. If you're interested in purchasing an Apple 24 inch cinema display you can pick them up off of eBay for about 250 bucks. Though by today's standard, this display's resolution isn't the best, but it does have good color accuracy. Some of the features of this display are that it has three USB 2.0 ports on the rear and one convenient cable with three types of connectors. The first connector is your mini display port connector, your MagSafe connector, and then your USB 2.0 pass-through cable. The resolution of this display is 1920 by 1200 pixels. It also has built-in internal speakers and Apple's EyeSight webcam. In order for you to properly connect this display to your Windows desktop, you're going to need to start with a couple of things. First, you're going to need a mini display port to full display port adapter. This will allow you to connect this display to a modern graphics card. I recommend purchasing a slightly longer version of this adapter since the cable built on the back of the display is quite short. Now, I'll link the adapter you need in the description below so that you can easily find it if you're interested. The second step will be to connect the USB 2.0 cable to the back of your computer. This will allow you to use the features of the internal speakers and the iSight camera along with the three ports built on the back of the display. Now that you've connected all the physical connections, your final step will be controlling the brightness. Now, just like with the LG 5K Ultra Fine, Windows doesn't know how to control the brightness on Apple built displays. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to acquire a small piece of software. It's called Brightness Control and it was developed by Jens Holst Schumacher. I will link the link you're going to need to get that software below so that you can adequately control your brightness. If you guys enjoyed that video, remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.